Vicky, you are on with Ron McGill. Go ahead. Hi, Ron. I have a question for you. So there are such things as wild horses and wild dogs that we find in nature, animals that we've domesticated. Are there such things as wild hamsters or wild gerbils? If so, where would you even find them? Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'll give you an interesting trivia question, and you guys are going to enjoy this. I think it's, it's okay for ESPN. There's something called the Shaw's Jerd, which is a type of wild gerbil. Uh, these, these, these rodents are found anywhere from Asia down into Africa, depending on the species. There's hundreds of species of these, quote-unquote, hamsters and gerbils. But the Shaw's Jerd is a gerbil that's notorious for one type of thing. It has the record for the frequency of sexual intercourse in an hour, once every 15 seconds for an hour. Um, it's, it's a very interesting fact and, uh, you know, something that Patina. you've all learned today. <laughs> uh, Mitch, you're on with Ron McGill of Zoo Miami. Go ahead, Mitch. Hey, Ron. I recently read a Deadspin article challenging its readers to try and catch the doggy doo-doo in the plastic bag before it hits the ground. How traumatizing would this be to my dog? Should I try it? You know, I, I wouldn't try it um, only because it's part of a dog's natural behavior. He's trying to leave a mark there. And if he sees you're like, you know, it, you're not even letting it hit the ground. It's one thing. If you let it hit the ground, even when you pick it up, it does leave the scent behind. So other dogs can pick it up. Uh, plus, you know, I, I just personally speaking, I just wouldn't want someone there with a bag under my butt as I'm trying to do that. Just leave me do that in peace, and then you can clean it up afterwards. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. It's